All right, in this demo, I want to show you the new features in CabWriter 2.0 uh, for creating your production documentation. This would include um, door and drawer reports, uh, cut lists, and uh, DXF files, and, and Cutlist Plus uh, compatible files. Uh, in 1.0, it was a variety of steps and different menus, menus that you had to go to in order to accomplish this. But in CabWriter 2.0, we've added one simple one-stop shop for you to create production documentation. So under the file menu is CabWriter production documentation. And uh, it'll warn you that um, this can take a little bit. If your outline or dialog box is open, make sure you close it before you create it because this can considerably lengthen the amount of time it takes to create your production documentation. So we've got this dialog box here, and uh, you can, uh, when you have uh, delimited files like um, a spreadsheet compatible cut list, you can make that comma, tab, or semicolon delimited. Commas the most common, uh, that would be a, a CSV file, comma separated value file. So unless you know what you're doing here, um, you should leave it at, at comma. And then you indicate what scenes you want to use for the various reports. So I've created uh, a number of scenes here. Um, I've got, uh, let's close this for a sec so we can look at our scenes. I've got a cut list scene. It turns off everything extraneous, walls, countertops, floors, appliances that I don't want in my cut list. Um, and, you know, I can play with this. If I wanted a cut list of just uh, the sheet goods, for example, I could just have a scene where I turn uh, those on only. Um, and for my DXF scene, I only do want my carcass parts. So I've got a scene where I turn off all the other layers except for the base and upper boxes. So now I can go back to my Cabrera production documentation. And we can see that for my door and drawer scene, I'm going to use the cutlass scene because the doors and drawers are in that one and drawer fronts. My cutlass scene is going to be my cutlass. But my, and my DXF scene, I'm setting to DXF. Um, for drawer, door and drawer front oversizing, so uh, we can create a report for you that tells your, your drawer sizes and your door and drawer front sizes. If you'd like to order your, this is for when you're ordering doors and, and uh, drawer fronts. If you'd like to order them a little bit oversized, um, because maybe you want to trim them when you get them. You can add that here so I could oversize everything by a sixteenth of an inch if I wanted. And then select the desired reports that you want. So we're going to turn them all on here. We're going to get drawer fronts, we're going to get door boxes, drawer boxes, we're going to get doors. I'm going to get a spreadsheet compatible cut list. That's my CSV comma separated value file. I'm going to get a DXF, set of DXFs for each of my materials. And uh, I can get a Cutlist Plus report, or I can say no Cutlist Plus FX report, or I can get one with DXF files. Um, there's other videos that talk about that, so I'm not going to go into it here. But if you use Cutlist Plus, it's pretty handy uh, to get your files. So in CabWriter 1.0, you had to make sure that you created a cut list before you did any of this. You had to make sure you numbered your cabinets and so on. Uh, this makes everything a lot easier because before we create these reports, we do everything in the background necessary uh, to create these reports. So you don't have to uh, remember to do so. So uh, I'm all set. I hit OK. And uh, it's going to take a little bit. You're going to get to spinny ball. Um, and uh, it's chewing and chewing because there's a lot of DXFs to create here. So... Uh, just a sec, we should get in dialog box that tells us that it's finished and where it put our reports. All right, so it's telling us all the production documents have been placed in um, this file path, which is the same folder that the source file for this model is in. So if I go in there and look, I've got a folder. And we've got the door and drawer schedule. We've got our cut list uh, in CSV format, and we've got our cut list in cut list plus format. 
So uh, the cut list is the same as the cut list we've always created, and so is the uh, cut list plus file, and you can see those in other videos, so I'm not going to cover that. I'll cover the door and drawer schedule um, real quick here. So we can see that we get um, an indication that we oversized everything by a sixteenth of an inch. Um, so frame and panel doors, uh, we can see we get a report here, uh, the width and height, which includes that extra sixteenth of an inch, and thickness, quantity, and then the style and rail widths. Notice uh, I have some doors here where the bottom rail width is different from the styles and top rail width. You need to know that if you're going to be ordering uh, these, and it tells you which cabinet it belongs to. Cabinet 2, upper door number 1. Uh, if we have any slab drawer fronts, they're listed separately. Same thing. Um, frame and panel drawer fronts, same thing. All the same information. Drawer slides, uh, I need 14 pair of this part number. This is all based on the information that we put into our drawer tab um, in uh, Cab Rider. And then our drawer boxes. Um, and it gives us the width, height, and depth, and quantity uh, for ordering. All right, so you get that report. And then the last thing you get uh, is uh, the DXF files. So uh, it gets its own folder. And for each material type and thickness, you get a report. So here we've got uh, half inch maple pre finished, uh, three quarter inch maple pre finished and then just three quarter inch maple, unfinished. And uh, you would use those uh, for your tool pathing in your uh, favorite CNC cam software. So that's all there is to creating production documentation in CabRider 2.0. Uh, there'll be some other videos talking about um, the CNC settings and so on for, for these DXFs. Thank you.